Here's a typical four course meal. Doesn't look beautiful and complicated. We're gonna go through it step by step. Think of the three reasons why we have etiquette. Safety, comfort, and health. And that might answer some of the questions when you see things. I might not answer all your questions during this. Okay. So just for our purposes, the centerpiece is our main meal plate. And that goes right in the middle. Our bread plate is always on the left-hand side of your main meal plate. It can be in this general area, depending on the venue. And you're with your butter knife. When you eat bread, you break bread and you butter each individual bite individually before eating it. And then the other item is your water glass. And that is a typical um, main meal. And your bread plate starts with B. Main meal plate is M and water is W, B M W. That is one way you can remember the order in which is yours. All right, then we have the napkin. Napkin is typically on the left-hand side, but uh, some creative people um, put them in all different kinds of places. These are some typical places that you find them, a plate in a dry water glass. I don't usually see it on the right-hand side. For our purposes, we're gonna put it on the left-hand side. Okay, so our main fork is usually on the left-hand side, closest to the plate. Our appetizer fork is on the outside. You always work from the outside in when there's a multiple meal, and there's never silverware that you're not supposed to use placed on the table. If you are not going to use it, the server will remove it. So fork is four letters and left is four letters. That is one way you can remember which side of the plate the fork goes on. Then we have the knife. This is the main meal knife, and this is a appetizer knife. And those are placed on the right-hand side closest to the plate with the knife blade facing in for everybody's safety. The next thing you'll find a teaspoon, you may find a teaspoon, uh, that could be used for spaghetti if you have twirling or for dessert or for coffee or tea and this is your soup spoon for coffee or tea is a mug is sometimes served beforehand it will be placed on there usually in a banquet setting uh, but uh, not in a regular setting uh, you may or may not find it on the right it'll be always on the right hand side though uh, your dessert spoon will be up here facing that so. So when you are ready for dessert, you can bring it down. And that would be for tea or coffee or mousse or pudding. And if you were having cake, you'd have a fork. And again, that would be placed come down here when you're ready to use it. Sometimes you may find it actually here next to your plate. So that could be a typical setting with three forks on the left hand side. So this is just one way to do it. There are many ways for a four course meal and a table setting. So the first course is always gonna be your soup. It will always be on a plate. You will start with your soup spoon. You hold it like a, a pencil and spoon away. You don't wanna spoon it toward you. You don't wanna mess up your lap and you can Wipe the dribbles off on the outside and bring it to your mouth. We don't put the soup spoon in the bowl ever because we don't want to flip it. It always goes on the plate and that's why a plate is always served with it. Before we eat any meal, our napkin is put into our lap. And I have not demonstrated that yet. I have not demonstrated that. I'm leaving the napkin there for now. Okay. The next course is our appetizer and that is an appetizer plate obviously smaller than our normal plate and our fork appetizer fork is on our left hand side and our knife is on the right hand side we're going to pick up our fork and knife in in the respective hands if you are a lefty and you feel comfortable you can switch them but I don't feel comfortable so I'm going to go back 
When I put my fight, fork and knife in my hand, I make sure the end is in my palm, not sticking out. And I use my pointer fingers for leverage. I use my tines, go down into the food, or the portion of the food that I wanna eat. I eat one bite at a time. I cut on the outside of my fork, not the inside or in between. I cut my food. If I'm eating continental, I will hold onto my knife and I will put the food in my mouth with tines down. When I'm resting continental style, I'm gonna place them down as such in the teepee. And I'll drink and I will talk. If I'm eating American style, again, I hold the utensils the same way. I poke my food, cut on the outside. This time I'm going to place my knife down on the plate as such. I'm going to flip my fork and eat with tines up. When I'm finished with, when I'm just resting and talking American style, this is how I place my utensils. When I am finished, I would turn my fork over, even if I have food on my plate, and that would indicate that I am completely finished with my food, and the server may remove. Servers remove from the right and lower from the left. Okay, now it's time for our main meal. Again, fork and knife in your hands as such. Eat one at a time. Finished that way. If you're having spaghetti and you want to twirl your spaghetti, you can use your spoon and twirl. And that's how you use that. When you're finished, your spoon goes first, then your fork, then your knife. O W L. And that indicates you are finished. And you move from the right. And then finally we have dessert. And our dessert plate looks like such. We'll bring down our fork and we'll bring down our spoon ready for dessert. We'll turn over our mug and our server will pour our tea or coffee. We will use our, our spoon to stir and our fork for our dessert. No used utensils go back on the table. If you have touched the utensils, it goes on a plate or a dish. Okay, play with this. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the tips and tricks. Uh, remember, life is a dress rehearsal and we need to keep on practicing. Thank you.